You guys, today I'm doing a collaboration with my very good friend Tamara from Tamara Timeless Beauty. She said, what do you think about doing 10 products that you keep on buying over and over again or you can't live without? And I said, I don't know if I can come up with 10. <laughs> I can live without everything. And she said, I know you can. I know you can. And sure enough, it was easy. In fact, I, I really... When I really sit down and think about it, I could probably do 12. So some of these products will be a general category. I can't live without blank. And then I'll give you a couple of ideas. Tamara, if you don't know her, is my age. She's a year older than me. She is from Minnesota and just moved to New York. And we talk constantly. She's my dearest friend. She is funny. She is vivacious she's just lovely and take a look at her channel if you have not and if you're coming from Tamara's channel hi I'm very different than Tamara we are really different in a lot of ways actually she's Midwestern I'm from California um, I color my hair she does not <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah yeah I didn't script this so I'm a little all over the place which is like me so let's get started we are not going to talk about skin care but there's something that is in the skincare category, which I cannot be without, period, and that is sunscreen. I wear sunscreen almost every single day. When do I not wear sunscreen? If I'm sick. If it's rainy, because those UVA rays actually, they get to you in the rain. So once in a while, I'll, I'll skip it, but pretty much I'm wearing sunscreen every single day. I have a sunscreen series, and I will post it right here. So this will either open up or there'll be an eye and hit that eye and that is a link to my series. There are three that I really, really love. One is the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This leaves you shiny, but it sets up. The other one, I, I, just, I just finished this one, the Can Make. Now the Can Make and the Isentree, is it Isentree or Isentree? Isentree, links down below. Both of these can be had at such a good price that it makes sunscreen more democratic, more available to everybody, and they happen to be very good, and they both set up. A little bit more expensive is the Tula Mineral Magic. I love this because it doesn't leave me as shiny, one. Two, it has a little bit of a peachy yellow tint to it, so it kind of cancels out my redness. Oftentimes I'll put this on and I forget that I have it on and I haven't put on my makeup yet, and I'm thinking, oh, did I put on my foundation? <laughs> it doesn't look as pretty as foundation, but it cancels out a lot of my redness so I can go for a lighter foundation. I love this. Cannot be without sunscreens, and I am a convert. I don't think anyone should be. It is your best anti-aging. Inside, outside, just think about UVA rays instead of UVB. UVB, burn. UVA, age. And UVA can go through clouds. Rain, the whole bit. The sun's up, UVA is out, and you need to protect from them. Sunscreen. I'm going to do just two things for hair, you guys. I do have a lot of hair, and I have been coloring it my whole life, and I feel that I have gained some insights that might be helpful to you. I don't have as thick hair, if you can believe it, as I used to. I used to have such thick, thick, thick hair. I hated washing it because it took forever to get it wet enough to get a lather, but also it took an eon to dry it. Enter this. So my hair is thinner, but I still have probably more hair than your average person. This has cut my dry time. It didn't cut it to nothing, but it is so much faster. Every time I dry my hair, I think, oh, my done. I love the Dyson. I use this attachment right now. I think I always have for my drawing. I'll start at the back and I'll just, you know, I'll put on a video or something and just kind of watch a video, watch a TV show. I'm sitting down because I'm going to be here forever and pass through, you know, it's drying. It's not that complicated. And then they have other attachments as well. I have spoken about this before. Here's my point. I cannot be without this. I shudder to think that I would be without this and I'd have to go back to my round brushes and my regular dryer. I, I do. The style that I get with that, I like, but since I bought this about a year and a half ago, I have never picked up that dryer again. Color Wow. I buy it over and over again when I'm out 
I buy it. So this is one of those repeat purchases. I have gray and I always forget. I always forget. I have to do my roots. So then I think, well, I'm not going to wear my hair down. I don't know if you can tell, but I have this little patch of gray right here. I already did this side this morning and then I thought, oh, I'm going to show you how easy this is. First, I pick some up. Then I flatten this out and then I go through. It's pretty freaking easy. This is where my big patch of gray is. And if you want to, you can, if you have a lot, you just go do a part. You don't have to do a really thin part because it kind of goes through to the next level and do a little more. But I don't think I have to, but I will just to show you. Because some of this might be blonde. The great thing about this product is it stays in your hair. It's not messy like a spray. It doesn't get on your clothes. It doesn't get on your floor, in your bathroom, or wherever you're doing it. It's easy, it's fast, and it stays until you wash your hair. And you know, I exercise a lot. I walk my dog. I sweat. I'm a sweater. It never comes down my face. I love this. I buy it over and over again, and I cannot be without the color wow powder. Looks like this, comes in several colors, and my color is light brown. That was number three. Tweezers. It's, it's so basic, but it needs to be done. When I was a younger, I would always keep, and I still do have, a magnifying mirror in the living room. And while I was watching TV, I'd get out my little tweezers and do some tweezing. Now that I'm older, I don't tweeze the brows so much anymore unless I'm using my serum, which I haven't used for quite a while. And when I use my serums, I'll get these hairs in random places that I will tweeze. Now that I'm getting older, I experience the delight of hair on weird places on my face. I'll, I'll be looking in a mirror and think, what the, is it dirt? No, it's a single dark hair. So most of my facial hair is blonde, uh, my mustache hair, I have some darks, and then randomly I'll get like a dark one here, or a dark one here, or a dark one here. There's nothing more horrible, really. Is there anything more horrible than a pair of tweezers that doesn't grab the hair? And then you pinch the skin because you're really kind of going for it and you're not watching what you're doing. The tweezer men tweezers are the best. They say they're the best, they are the best. I have a pair in here, and I have a pair in the living room. Do not use your tweezers to open packages. Uh -uh 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 -uh. I have been told that if they get dull, you can send them back to Tweezerman and they will sharpen them and send them back. If you can live without yours for a couple of weeks while that happens, fine. Or maybe that's the time to get another so you have a backup. But tweezers, number four, can't be without. Another tool I really can't be without is the Beauty Blender. I use a beauty blender differently. You know, when I first started watching YouTube, I'd see people take their foundation, go and then put it on their face. I mean, they would spread it out, but I thought that was a little strange. And I never liked applying my foundation with a beauty blender. I very rarely do it, but I do do finger application quite a bit. Or I'll do some pumps and go like this, and then use the beauty blender. But for me, this is a blender, right? So after I've done my foundation, I want to go over everything to make sure I didn't miss this area, or there's not too much over here, or it's weird around my eyebrows, or my hairline. I need to get into my hairline. This is something that I need to have. And I've tried other brands. They're not the same. I know there's a lot of people say this is just like the Beauty Blender. There's something about the Beauty Blender that is delicious and I love. And I will even say some of the limited edition Beauty Blenders are not the same quality or texture or I don't know what as the pink ones. The pink Beauty Blenders, the original, I cannot be without. I buy them over and over and over again. In fact, when Ulta had a sale, I think it was two years ago, they had the Beauty Blender 50% off. I bought 10. Okay. Eyebrows. 
Eyebrows are so important, especially as you get older. This is my favorite pencil, and I have bought it over and over and over and over and over again. It is from NYX, and it is flat. I don't know if you can see that. And it's perfect. It's perfect for me. It's a great color. It doesn't have any reddishness in it. I've already done my brows, but you can, I suppose, the idea is you can get little hair strokes with this, and you can use it that way. I also like that you can kind of go, if you have grays, back and forth, and just hit those grays. I love it. I don't really see a reason to spend $30 on an eyebrow pencil when the drugstore actually has something I think is very, very good. Okay, now makeup. This is very, very hard because there's not a lot of foundation that I've bought over and over again. The Givenchy Prism Libra, which I'm not going to show you, and the Makeup Forever Reboot are both foundations that I've bought twice. I have a lot of foundations and I rarely finish something. When people ask me what's your favorite foundation, it really depends on a couple of things. It depends on what time of year, it depends on what my skin is doing, and it depends on the color. It matters to me. I just can't say I love a foundation when the color is so bad. Well, I guess that's not entirely true because there are foundations that I do love that I can't find a good color for. I'm gonna tell you simply that I'm not a person who can get away with the skin tint because I have so much redness in my skin, I need a foundation. Light medium coverage is fine. This is what I'm wearing today. I think you would say it's a light medium coverage, but I did use the Tula. So the Tula canceled out some of my redness. This is the Dior Forever Natural Nude, and I haven't used it in a while because it's 2N, and it's beautiful on my skin. Oh, wait a minute, this isn't what I'm wearing today. This is what I wore yesterday. Okay, I love this. <laughs> the, this color works for me right now, as does this Suku. This Suku is discontinued. They came out with another one, which I haven't, I have to call the UK to tell them this is the color I used to wear, what is the color now, because they changed the colors. It's a cream. Both of these are older because I could only wear them for about three months out of the year because of the color, so I'm really focusing on getting rid of these. But the Ritual Defeat also is working for me right now. I have that in three colors, and they're all very different. I love them all, but I think the point for me of putting this in things I can't live without and I buy over and over again, I cannot live without foundation, full stop. I have, and I will link right here, a series where I do three day, once in a while a two day if I really hate it, wear test on foundations so you can see how they work with different sunscreens, how they work with powder products, how they work with cream products, and if you haven't found your favorite foundation, maybe that playlist will help you, but foundation is something I have to have. It is a must-have. Now interestingly, something that I enjoy very much, but it's not a must-have, is lipstick. Now I like a very neutral kind of face where it looks like you might not be wearing makeup and then put a powerful lip on. Cicely Paris makes beautiful, powerful colors and I am into that. But the truth is on the day to day, my lips have a lot of color. In fact, when I brushed my teeth, they were practically neon. So most of the time, I just want to use something that's a little bit balmy that offers me a little bit of tint and I'm just going to show you a couple of products that I am loving in a couple of colors. So this is from Kira Weiss. It's a balm. It is delicious. I mean, it doesn't taste like anything, but it's nourishing, it's gorgeous, and it gives me just a hint of color. I bought that color because it reminded me of this one from Hermes. This is the color Debt, and when you look at them, you can see why I thought that would be a dupe, but there's a lot more color in this one when I put it on the lip. So I'm just gonna put it over. You may or may not see that, but it just offers a little bit of vividness, brightness in the most subtle way, liveliness. I don't know if you're gonna see it. Also, I'm putting it on top of something else. Let's just say these two products all the time. This is from Flight 70. It's another balm. This color is more of a your lips, but better. 
Uh, you can see that brightness with the Hermes right now. This is right here. This is more like my lip tone, same kind of thing, very nourishing. And Kopari. I love this. Whoops. <laughs> I'll put down the color in the links below. But this is more of a coconut delight. There's shine to it, so let's just put this on. A teeny hint of color. And I oftentimes, I keep this in the living room, and I'll just massage it into my lips while I'm watching some series or online doing something. I absolutely, mm. actually the balms with this is really yummy too. For me, I can't say there's lipstick I can live without. I wouldn't want to be without it, but these kinds of products are the products that I use constantly. So there's some lip products that I really, really cannot be without. I can't. I, my lips get dry or I want a little bit of color. I'm doing something very understated, but I need something. That's what I go to over and over and over again. It's just easy. If you've watched my channel <laughs> at all, you have seen me use this almost every single time. This is the hyaluronic powder, hyaluronic hydro powder or hydro hyaluronic powder from by Terry. It is the loose powder and I use just the littlest bit to help cut down on any shine. I use it under my eyes. I just have not found anything I like as much as this, although I do have many powders and I do love like the Kosas powder, the compact powder, but I don't like that under my eyes. This I can do all over the face and they also have it in colors. So I have a pink one. If I have a foundation that is too warm, I might use the pink one that will just take it down a hint. This is expensive, but for me, it lasts for two or three years. Two or three years. So it's worth it to me. I don't want to be without it. I have bought it over and over and over again. Blush is something I can't be without. I cover up my own redness and then I want to put the color where I want it to be as opposed to where it shows up on my face. And I think blush is incredibly youthful and it pulls everything together and I can't say I have repurchased any blush. I don't think I have. I have tons of blushes, but I just want to tell you about one of my very favorite, very easy to use. It is the Clay de Peau Cream Blush, and I'm wearing it right now in peach. This blends in like nothing you've ever seen before. It's not sticky and goopy like the Tower 28s, for instance. It's almost like a dry cream, and it blends in. I've already powdered my face. Blend it. It's not fussy. Boom. One of my very favorite blushes. I can't be without a blush. It's easy, it's fast, it's beautiful, and it's great for drier skin, but it's not oily feeling. So if you have oily skin, you probably won't have a problem with it either. So best all-round cream blush. I don't know, I think that's it. As we get older, many of us suffer from a decline in our eyesight. I was born with bad eyesight. Oh my God. I don't know where my photo albums are, but I just remembered this horrible picture of my school picture wearing baby blue glasses. Yay. I've always had bad eyesight, but it gets worse. <laughs> Some of you don't, oh my God, I want to be that person. But I need to have a magnifying mirror. I have to have one. And this one, so many of you hated on this for such a long time until I put this on it. This one I got at Rexall Drugs, I think, easily 25, maybe even 30 years ago. I got this a long, 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 long time. It has, I think, a 3X, and then on this side used to be a 1X. I've never found another one that doesn't give me a massive headache. I have to use this when I'm putting on my makeup. If I use just a regular mirror, I'm not going to see if I blended well. I'm not going to see if I missed a spot. I'm going to look like a clown. I need this, and if you're my age, there's a chance that you might need something like this as well. So I'm gonna see if I can find something that is a low magnification. It's very easy to find 10X, but 10X gives me a massive headache. 
Okay, battery says, battery alert, it's a good thing I have one more thing to talk about, and that is eyes. I am hooded, my channel is called The Hooded Lid, and it kind of informs everything when it comes to makeup. My hood, I feel, protrudes because the skin is light, right? And it makes my eyes look even smaller. My eyes are a little bit on the small side. I have to have eyeshadow. But I don't have one product that I buy over and over and over again that I can recommend to you. I can say that I personally can take one of these palettes, for instance, the Denona or the Patrick Ta, the second major dimensions, and choose one or two colors from there just to put some shadow to help receive my hood. Another thing that I am liking a lot right now are these merits. I wish they had more color. So I first went on with the Surratt. This is a gel formula that just came out and I used it with this brush from Ruffer. It's number 36 and just patted that all over the lid. And afterwards I felt I still don't have that receding thing. So I took a little bit of this Nelson. This you can build. It's a gray color and you can build it to wear it at night. But you can also wear it very sheerly. Just I put it right in here and then blended and blended with my finger and blended with the brush and suddenly the hood isn't the first thing that you see. That's what I'm doing now. I have a million eyeshadow products. You can use one of the sticks. You can use something like this. But for me, I cannot be without eyeshadow. I can go without mascara. I can go without eyeliner. I cannot go without eyeshadow. I just don't feel that I look my best. And that is going to wrap up today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, for tuning in. If you're from Tamara's channel, yes, I am actually like this most of the time. <laughs> I, I do kind of mess up my words and get off topic a little bit. Uh, but I'm happy to have you here. And for all of my regular people, go, go visit Tamara and get another take and see what she has to say. I will link her video down below in the description box. And everything that I spoke about here, I will also link down below in the description box, as well as my videos on sunscreen and my also my playlist on foundations. That's going to wrap it up. Thanks again. Until the next time. Oh, this is why I always do the same same off, the same sign off because I get really weird at the end. Like, wait a minute, what am I saying? Always say the same thing. Now I forgot what I said. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope it was helpful. I hope you come back again. And until we meet again, be smart and safe. And I'm wishing you good health.